There she is, Janet Yellen, reading her opening remarks right now. After she's done that, the Q&A begins. You could see some fireworks. We'll show it to you if and when that happens. Now, we were going to bring you the story from Florida about going to jail if you abuse the welfare system. But we've got a much better story for the judge than that one. The debt ceiling. The clean debt ceiling bill from John Boehner. Let me explain to our viewers before we get to your... Um, outrageous remarks that you're about to make. You mean my uh, remarks about outrage? Your impassioned <laughs> remarks, which I know you're going to make. John Boehner says tomorrow he's going to bring to the floor of the House a clean debt ceiling bill. Go ahead, Mr. President, raise the debt ceiling. We don't want anything in return. And yes, you say? Yes. Well, this is a rejection of whatever values remain in the Republican Party. It also may serve to undermine his speakership because he is the Speaker of the House of Representatives only because the Republicans want him to be. How about and when a majority, an overwhelming majority of the Republicans in the House reject what the Speaker wants because he has rejected their values, the reasons for which they were sent to the Congress, he's jeopardized his longevity as the Speaker. How about the Republican Party returns to the principle of winning an election? Election. This is all about winning the 2014 election. Wait a second, wait a second. John Boehner is focusing on Obamacare. Yeah, I understand He knows that. it's a I millstone around it's the It's because he is such a poor politician that he cannot explain to the American public that if the government shuts down, it's not because the Republicans won't vote to raise the debt ceiling, it's because the president refuses to talk to them. The president says, my way or the highway. The president it's, won't even consider so much as cutting a nickel from the, his bloated budget. In the court of public opinion, and you know how it works, that is a losing argument. Because the Republicans don't know how to deal with the court of Republic, uh, public opinion because they don't know what they stand for. How are they because they have a leader in the House of Representatives who's not among them, who's not one of them. How? He's, he's an agent for the administration. How are they supposed... Oh, come on. How, we, well, how, is a, look, how are the Republicans? He's going to get the Democrats to support this and not the Republicans. Will. He's an agent for the administration. How will any Republican deal with a, a uniformity amongst the establishment media? The media in its almost its entirety. Not would, here. Would, not here, <laughs> of course not. But the, the media would blame Boehner, blame the Republicans, and hold it around their necks all the way through till November. Do you know a single Republican voter who voted for a single Republican member of Congress because they promised to raise the debt ceiling? I, On the contrary, they promised not to raise the debt ceiling, and they will have done so twice in this congressional term. Every Republican voter that I know wants to win. Every Republican voter that I know wants them to stick with some sort of principles like we're not going to go into more debt. Every Republican I voter I know wants to have a good strategy for winning in well, November. What will they be winning if they vote with the president, it's if they vote the way the big government crowd always wants? What's the sense of having Republicans there? Charles Payne, the voice of reason, spoke moments ago <laughs> to say that it's going to pass anyway, whether it's got Republican support or Democrat support well, or Democrat support. After the drama, they would raise their debt. Well, yeah, well, 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 now, wait, wait a minute. If John Boehner applies the Hastert rule, named after one of his predecessors, Speaker Dennis Hastert, which is that a majority of the majority has to favor legislation before it comes to the floor. This legislation would never come to the floor. Did I express enough outrage? Do you enjoy paying more than half of your income to the federal and state governments? No. You enjoy do, you, do you enjoy What's the a, best way of getting rid of that? Do you political enjoy, change? Do you enjoy, What's the best way of getting political change? Good political strategy. Do you enjoy a debt service that is now half a trillion a year and will go up? Again, when they vote to raise the debt ceiling, hey guys, will be paid real, for this, by your great grandchildren. What are you guys ultimately saying, though, is that the Republicans don't have anyone that can sell a true Republican message? Thank you, Charles. They, at least not in this speaker, they don't. So uh, this is a, this is Plan B. Yes.